What's going on? We're back. We're back. It's Nephew. Welcome back to Millions by Nephew. Where we talk about stocks. We talk about options. We talk about crypto. We talk about investments online. Um, obviously, these are things that I'm buying. I'm not a licensed trader, so I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. So follow this channel and all that advice. With your own due diligence, make sure you do your own research before you do anything because you will lose your money messing around with these stocks. All right. So let's jump into the video. In this video, we're going to be talking about oil stocks and um, the top five that I picked, um, good charting and why I chose them and to talk about them. All right. So, you know, that the, the oil services stocks, they, they lost two thirds of the value in the last year. Um, and also with the energy sector, the oil producers are all messed up right now. So business has been drying up. The company's looking real slack. They're looking real bad right now. Um, they also ended up cutting their budget. So with the price of barrels going at $30 for uh, $30 a barrel and this scenario, these stocks that I chose will have the ability to make between, I don't know, between 50 to 60% on the upside from where they are. And, um, we're going to start with we're going to start with these guys here so i'm just going to look at this chart and show you what i'm talking about um so you can see from here that the oil prices has just been drying up starting from basically starting from here and look at where we are now so once you know the oil war is over whatever they're doing with these prices i mean you can see that the prices have been decreasing since last year and all the way now they're way down well, I feel like they may have fallen enough and that there's not too much further they can go down. Um, perhaps. I mean, you guys can let me know. You be the judge of that. Drop a comment below. Let me know if all these stocks can go up even higher. But I'm going to do all of these at once and then I'll make other videos separately about them individually when we have something to talk about. So this at $13 would have been a really good time to buy it. And now it still looks like we're having an uptrend. And so we had this to pump it up and then we are closed the gap around here. So we already closed the gap at around here. Uh, here we go, 17. So we're only about we're only about a uh, basically we just closed that gap today. So that being said, these are in play now. It looks like we have an uh, uptrend and uptick, and the trending up. Uh, if we're trending up, just look at the the downs. Okay, so we were at 45. We're talking 18 so we got at least a hundred percent we go back up here we close this gap but even if you know we get the barrels up to like four dollars a barrel we're looking at I don't know maybe not a whole hundred percent but at least getting back up let's see back up here somewhere around up this range maybe the 37 dollar range for this one and that would be that would be pretty decent or even if we could get back up to the to this range which is here and this price was way up here at its peak um, it's possible that we can make, um, it's possible that we can at least get back to this 40 range, uh, or, or lower, maybe in the 35 range, but there's a lot of room in here. There's a lot of room for growth in the oil industry since, um, since, since everything's been dropping in value. So, um, today we're up 8% on these and you can pretty much see that the charts look crazy obviously there's still room to drop um but it already looks like we're reversing and going in the right direction uh we already went up here and we came here and we're back here to test this so it looks like we're gonna see if we're gonna break out of the resistance and it could be a breakout or it could just you know come back down again but this seems like an accumulation stage, guys. So looking from what I'm seeing, it looks like they're accumulating these. Uh, and then this is going to turn into going up. Most likely when everything is, is back fixed with the, uh, with the, you know, with the COVID and all of that, I'm pretty sure that once these uh, cruise lines and all the airplanes get back going, they're going to need their oil. Okay, so I'm just thinking this is a good play. To get in now while no one's thinking about it it's probably getting back in the oil so that's one company put that on your watch list i got another one some some are a little bit cheaper than others this one two dollars and forty cents so this one small market cap i'm not sure if you want to even get involved with this one but at least 
it's got a lot of room to grow. All right, so you can see this one has also taken a big hit, uh, and it's been basically dying out ever since. But at its peak, it was at $183 a share. We get $130 a share, uh, $98. I mean, if if we could even get this thing to move at any rate, if we can even get this thing to move any, um, we're looking at a lot of room to grow. And you can see here that we're we're starting to go upward. And what I like about it is I'm showing you five of these. So you can see the whole industry itself is moving at the same time. So I'm not just saying, oh, it's only one of these. No, this one's up 27% on the day. So, I mean, if you had had this like yesterday, you would have been set. <laughs> this move right here is a lot. I mean, you can see there's a lot of room from here to back up here. I mean, when this goes to $4, that's 100%. When this goes to six dollars, that's a hundred percent again. Eight dollars, another hundred percent. Five hundred percent. Six hundred percent. Seven hundred percent. Eight hundred percent. If it just goes back up there, so that's just for you guys. I mean, you know, you know what I do on this channel. I find some stocks that got so much percentage because I like to get in them. I like to grab options. I like to hold on to them. So that's what I'm going to be doing here, guys. I, that's the play I'm going to make. You know. I'm going to buy some options so I can grab up as many shares as I possibly can. And I'm just going to hold these guys. All right. So um, you guys follow me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and you make sure you hit that notification button. So you won't miss out on these type of really decent looks and finds I'll be looking for. I'll be looking for this stuff all day long. That's all I do. So you guys, we can look for different oils. So I'm going to go to number three. And that was independence contract drilling. So you guys can look that one up. But like I said, the market cap's pretty low. No telling what's going to happen with these guys. You know, no telling. So do your own due diligence. I'm only going to risk what I can afford to lose. And we're going to try this one. Uh, diamond offset shoring. Offshore. Why well, I say offset? Diamond offshore drilling. There you go. Now this one has a really decent look at marking cap. Looks less sketchy. The last one I just showed you looked kind of sketchy because it didn't have any money in it. But this one has big market cap, at least a bigger market cap. I, I, I like bigger market caps. It, it seems a lot more safe for me. Um, and you can see the price in $1.16. Same thing here. If it gets to $3, it's about 100%. It gets to uh, $5 or so, it's about 100% here. That's $200. That's $300. That's 400 So it's got plenty of room to grow. Let's go look at the, the bigger picture here. And the bigger picture, we've been all the way up here before. $104 a share at its peak. From there, it just kind of died off. Uh, that was back in 2008, uh, right before the crash. So this must have been the first crash, yeah. So right after the first recession, the last recession, that's when this crashed. It crashed the last recession. You can also say that oil prices dropped since then, and it's been crashing ever since, and we're going into another recession. So I don't know. Um, but... Well, we'll see, because oil has never been as cheap as it is now, so in a long time. So that could that could actually cause this to happen again. So we'll see, guys. We'll see. Like I said, do your own due diligence. I'm just going to show you these, so you will know. My next one is uh, rig. <laughs> so this is Trans Ocean Limited. These guys have a really big market cap. I'm a little bit more like inclined to get that one because I just like. The fact that they got a lot of money uh they got a lot more money and you know when you look at this they all have the same problem they went up and they all dropped at the same time so obviously this was an oil industry issue we actually need to go back and see what hp did to do the same at that same time did this the same thing happen here did the same thing happen here guys because we we're comparing charts here we're figuring things out oh look this thing is old this one is the oldest one since 1969 this one this one, man, can you imagine how Warren Buffett you'd be if you grabbed it back at this price, 30-something cent? It was a penny stock back then. Shot up to $68, and then we came all the way up to here. hundred and Okay, that wasn't too far ago. But yeah, as a matter of fact, if you look at this, look, look, look at what we have here. Oh, let's see. Can't exactly zoom in, but I'm pretty sure you understand what this means. This is right here. You know what? Let me go to full feature chart because this sucks. All right. So anyway, from here, I don't know if it's going to record that. But when you drop down here, this is the same reason. It dropped for the same reason. So 
we're having a little consistency here guys every every one of these have dropped around the same time so they probably all would go up around the same time and what do you know this one seems to be going up in the last five days we're getting a uh, trend up so we're trending up in oil guys I just want you guys to see that don't want you to miss out on it while everyone's talking about everything else we're trending up in the oil and oil is something that they're gonna always need so I'm gonna start picking up some of these especially at this price guys I mean I'm looking at this and just saying even if we get back up to here same type of trade I'm trying to do with ACB but only this is oil and you know there's a lot more uses for oil and same thing if it goes up to here 15 there's a lot of hundred percents in there I'm not even gonna go go there all right and like I said you guys can do your own research I'll break these down even further in individual uh, videos but if you guys have anything to say or any questions drop them below in the comments and here's the last one it's also a pretty decent market cap um, and this one has a dividend by the way so that one actually sounds really really sexy this one sounds extremely sexy because it has a dividend so you know these guys are getting money they've been around for a long time let's go see how long they've been around been around since the 90s uh, we got we got a lot of volatility we, we go up we come down we go up we come down we go up $35 a share at the most. That's not bad. And then we come down. It's more believable though, right? Then we come down. Then we go up. Then we come down. Then we go up. Then we come down. This this one's like if you do back testing for this one, there's a lot of times where this shot up. And we're, we're looking like we're due for a shoot up. We're, we're looking for one of these. One of these big climb ups. We, we haven't had one. How many years apart? So since 96, let's see. This is 97. And then it dropped. And then how many years before it goes back up? Oh, only one year. It only took one year to grow. And then it dropped again. And then it grew, 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 grew. And then it dropped again. And then it, it grew again almost over a year. Then, of course, that same thing I just showed you. 2008. And in the housing bubble, woo, oil dropped. Okay. And then from here, it went back up again. And then we dropped. And then we went back up again. And then we dropped it. This, 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 actually, this is looking like my favorite one right now. This one is so cool because it, it has so much percentage. And look where we are now, guys. Look at where we are today. In fact, I might, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I think I'm going to just put a lot into this one. This one seems like the one I want. This one seems sexy to me. And it pays a dividend. I mean, I can't go wrong with that. I might stockpile this boy. So it looks like for me, this one's due for a go up. It hasn't broke out yet, but... We're a little early, you know, and we might can get some decent trades in. And I'm, I mean, I'd love to buy a, a, a thousand of these and then like sell it up here somewhere at like $27 a share. I would love that. I would love to do that, guys. I would love that. <laughs> yeah, that's like 27,000 if I can just get my hands on a thousand of these. And every time it climbed up from, see, June, June. This is June. It took a year to go from June. This was this was June 2012 to basically May 13. Eh, not quite 12 months, but about about eight months, 10 months, nine months, and it was up again from here to June, July again to of the year later. Look what look what happened in the year from here to here. That's a that's a year. Went from we completely almost doubled 100 percent. From here, 16 to here, 16, 17. That's January 16 to January 17. So, I mean, it looks like to me, you only got to wait a year to go from $14 a share to $28. That's 100%, guys. But I've just showed you in the back test that that happened, that happened, that happened, that happened, that happened, that happened. This happened, this happened, and here we are. So, what's going to happen next? I wager a bet with a 450, 45 market cap, and they've been at this since the 90s, that it's going to do the same thing it always does, guys. So I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I'm nobody. Like I said, don't take my advice. I'm not licensed. I'm just a YouTuber making stock trading videos. But anyway, guys, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below if any of these sound good to you. Let me know if you think I should buy any of these. But I'm actually thinking about really grabbing this P10. And there's a couple other ones that I might grab some options in just in case I'm wrong. But it looks like this whole sector is going to move up soon. So I don't know, guys. You let me know. It's all sales.
right now because everything's down. But getting in before anyone else thinks to, perfect. So talk to you guys later. Peace.